Jake Kowalski looking for Heinrich. Heinrich, the cross, Leet is there with the save for the Hoyas. That was a nice play by Skyler Heinrich. We'll get another good look here. A great strike. up a chance and a nice shot and a goal for the Blue Jays. That's Ashley Kierlock, her second of the season. The senior out of Springfield, Illinois. What a strike from distance by Ashley Kierlock. The senior. And now Heinrich pushing forward for the Blue Jays, Megan Nally. He's going to get called for the foul. Looks like she may be awarded a yellow card. Oh, sorry, no card. We saw the official take the cards out of his pocket, but instead just putting down the line for Ansley Atkinson. This will be a five-person wall for the Hoyas. Ainsley Atkinson, as we talked about, she's one of the most creative players out on the pitch for Creighton. Atkinson into the back of the net. What a goal by Ainsley Atkinson. What a play. So we will get another look at this. Two more, in fact, what a shot. The Nizalek looking over to Carolyn. Carolyn, the ball. Terrell is there for the Blue Jays. You see Amanda Carolyn on your screen. She is number seven. We'll take another look at this shot by Carolyn. And Jackson. On the ball, Lease rushing in, will get a whistle. The goalkeeper is down, the clock will stop. There's four seconds, we'll get a yellow card. And the goalkeeper, Keelan Terrell, still down on the ground. And she will get back to her feet. We'll get another look here. That's Jackson on the corner, just a collision with Lease. We about did a somersault over Georgetown with the comeback, but Creighton will earn a point in terms of the Big East standing, something that is extraordinarily tough to do here at Shaw Field. We will take a quick break and we'll be right back with Georgetown head coach Dave Nolan.